welcome to this short instructional video about getting started with PicoLock 6 on a Raspberry Pi. My name is Kieran Wynne Stanley and I'm the Data Logging Product Manager here at Pico Technology. Let's get straight in with the setup. As you may already know, Raspberry Pis don't arrive preloaded with an operating system as standard in the same way that a regular laptop or PC does. So this is our first task. To make life easier, Raspberry Pi Foundation have created an SD card with a pre-installed operating system called Noobs. This tutorial only covers the installation using this pre-installed Noobs SD card. If you're familiar with Raspberry Pi and Raspbian and confident you know what you're doing, ensure you install Raspbian Buster and update the operating system. Picolog 6 will not work on previous versions of Raspbian. Our friends at the Raspberry Pi Foundation have also created two one-minute videos to help you get up and running. The first video demonstrates how to start your Pi for the first time using Noobs. After installation, you should have the USB keyboard and mouse connected, a monitor plugged in, and the screen should look a little bit like this. Now that your Pi is up and running, the operating system packages need to be updated to the latest versions. You will need to be connected to the internet for this, once connected to the internet, open a terminal application, then type this command to update the list of upgradable packages and apply the upgrade to the operating system. The second video from Raspberry Pi Foundation walks users through the update process by performing the update and upgrade processes in separate commands, but you can join them to speed the process up, as I've done in this video. With the operating system installed and configured, you're now ready to download and install Picolog 6 data logging software. PicoLog 6 is available as a deb package from the Pico website. Let's open the Chromium browser on your Pi desktop and type the following URL www.picotech.com forward slash downloads. To find the software for your logger, first click on Pico Data Loggers. Next, select the logger model, and the list of supported software packages for your product will appear in the list on the right hand side. Note that Picolog 6 supports Windows, Mac OS, 64-bit Linux, and Raspbian for Raspberry Pi. Click the Picolog 6 download link from the Raspbian for Raspberry Pi section at the bottom. The web page that loads contains the download button and two commands we'll need to type into a terminal window later on. Let's copy and paste those commands into a blank text file. To open a text file, right-click on the desktop and select new file. Here's a top tip. In Linux operating systems, selecting the text automatically copies it, and when you want to paste it, you press the middle button of the mouse and it automatically pastes. Now press the blue Download Picolog Software button. This should, by default, download into the Downloads folder in your operating system. You will be asked to confirm if you wish to discard the file or keep. Please press Keep. Now close the browser, we won't need this again during the installation. The next step is to open a terminal window and run those commands we copied into the text file. Highlight the first line of text we copied into the text editor earlier and paste it into the terminal. Remember selecting by highlighting the text and copy by pressing the middle mouse button. Press enter. Uh, this step adds the Pico release key. We're now ready to install Picolog 6 software. We're going to execute the deb file we downloaded from the command line, so we must change directory to the downloads folder. Paths in Linux are case sensitive, note the capital D. Type cd downloads. Copy and paste the second line of text we copied earlier from the notepad and paste into the terminal. This will install pigolog. Once the installation is complete, close the terminal and the text file. We won't need them again. Now click on the Raspberry application icon in the top left of the screen. Depending on the version of Picolog you have, you'll find it in the Applications folder for version 6.1.15 and earlier, or from version 6.1.16, you can find it in a folder called Other. Now with Picolog loaded for the first time, it will prompt you to run fix commands to enable USB devices to be used. Just follow the on-screen instructions. 
it will also ask you to choose a default file save location and I suggest choosing the one it suggests for now until you're more familiar. Right, we're ready to connect a logger and set up a capture to get you going. In this video, I'm plugging in a TC08 thermocouple data logger to the USB of Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter whether it's a USB 3 or USB 2 port uh, because the TC08 is USB 2. It takes a moment or two to enumerate, that means detect, uh, the TC08 and you'll see it appear on the screen in front of you. Let's just start for now by selecting one channel, channel 1, and go with the default channel configuration options. As you can see we're already reading the channel data. We can now start a capture, click on the record button, click yes to the capture settings and that's it. It's as simple as that. You can now view your live capture in the graph view.